Be sure to check out my store for the stuff I use and templates at a low cost, and get my everything pack so you can have everything in my store at a reduced cost, less than $20 if you tweet it out. What's up guys, Kawezi here, bringing you guys another tutorial, and it's been a while since my last tutorial. Uh, I uploaded one a couple weeks ago, I got taken down for the first time in my life. Um, but anyways, I'm back, I'm on break, so more videos to come this month. But what I'm going to be showing you today is this kind of, I don't really have a name for it, but it's bright, it's flowing, I'm sure I'll have a name in the title. Um, it was originally going to be like a galaxy sort of header, but I kind of did something else and then came away with a result like this and I created some variations of these like backgrounds. So here's a few um, just really uh, neat looking sort of 3D-ish. Like that one's sort of 3D. Um, it's got some depth and stuff. It looks really neat. Um, not sure what I'm calling it, like I said, but anyways, let's just go ahead and jump into how to do it. So the first thing you need is some sort of image and I'm gonna be using some, or I used some fractals from my insane pack, which is in my store for like 90 cents, if you're interested in that, or you can create fractals yourself using various programs um, like Chaotica, which is free. I have a tutorial on that from a few years ago, which I'll link down below. If you guys wanna create your own fractals, that way you can have um, an infinite amount at your disposal rather than just the 21 in my pack. But I'm gonna go ahead and use one from my pack, which is number 13. And what I did was created a new file and I made it uh, 1500 by 1572 pixels, um, which I already have here. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag this over into that document. You can see it's quite small, but I'm gonna just Command T and increase the size because with this, it won't really matter if uh, it's blurry or slightly off. Um, and I'm gonna increase the size and you can see it's not exactly square, so I just, drag it out to B square, um, which is uh, like a big no-no typically, but for this it won't matter because we'll cover up any pixelation or blurriness, etc. Um, and you can see this is what uh, it actually looks like when we complete it, uh, complete what we're going to do here. So to create this sort of effect, what we want to do is go to 3D, uh, new mesh from layer, depth to and plane. And we're just gonna play around with some settings real quick and get it to burst out. So this should pop up and you, what you wanna do first is come to this window up here. If you don't have this window, you can just click into the space or right click into the space or right click up here and this window should pop up. Now what you wanna do is go to style, unit texture and texture diffuse or diffuse. Um, uncheck lines at the bottom right and then check linear colors and back faces. Now let's go to the second tab which is environment, uncheck shadow, uncheck IBL and bring the opacity down to zero just in case because I don't know if this is actually visible or anything but I always take it down just in case it is. I don't notice any changes but just, just in case. Um, now you want to go to coordinates all the way to the right and you can see we have uh, six number uh, entries here and only Y and Z have a answer or a number <laughs> written in, not an answer. Um, and the Z number should be pretty big. It's usually in the, uh, the thousands um, or it, it really depends on your document size. But in this case, it's 8,000 and you want to take it down to about 1,000. Um, that's usually where I start. And you can see it's a little too zoomed in. So it's back out to maybe 2,000. Still a little close, maybe 3,000. Now a little too far, so we'll go back to 2,000 and maybe just go 2,500. And that's a pretty good spot um, distance. So now we can just kind of click and rotate this. So I'm gonna click and rotate it up like such. So, so these are kind of just bursting out with all the color. And it looks really nice. Um, I'm gonna go over to the layer here and there should be a cube on the little thumbnail Double click on that you should have another pop-up come up and we're gonna click the eyeball on infinite light Just to get rid of that because that can add some wonky shadows and things that we don't want 
So that looks pretty good. Now let's close that window and you can play with this as much as you want to get it looking however you'd want it to look. But once you get it how you want it, then right click on the layer, rasterize 3D. And now this is final, we can't make any changes to it, it is done. Um, you can make some adjustments to it if you need to. I don't really need to because this is like fully saturated so I can't even bump up the saturation or anything like that. Uh, but if yours is dull, you can go to exposure and bump that up and that will kind of brighten up some colors or you can add vibrance or whatever you need to do. Just play around with it um, until it's bright and colorful and looks nice. Once you do that, you want to come bring it into your um, header document. So this is my Twitter header document. I'm going to just hide everything else I was messing around with here. Um, and you can see it doesn't really fit on our document. And again, we're just going to play with the size to um, get it how we want. So I'm going to flip it so the burst is coming from the left. And I'm going to drag it out and out. And then sort of center it like so. Hit enter. And now we get to play around with stuff. So um, this one is not too blurry. It actually looks pretty good, which is a good thing. If yours is slightly blurry, it probably won't matter too much, honestly, because um, we're going to uh, fix that later anyway. But the first thing I want to do is go to Filter and then Liquify. And oop, popped up over here. And you can see there's a bunch of settings on the left that you can use to kind of distort this picture. I'm just going to zoom out here quick, but I'm going to use this swirl one. Um, it's called twirl clockwise tool and we can just use the brace uh, the brackets to um, Change the size of our brush here and just kind of mess around with this add some Like we don't want it to be too straight. We want to add some character to it uh, Give it some wiggly lines some distortion just to make it a little more interesting and cool uh, Like I said, this was originally like a galaxy thing. So I was trying to go for that look but um, I ended up pulling off whatever this is All right, so there we go. I kind of played around with it, got something that looks pretty interesting. Um, and it, yeah. So once you do that, just go ahead and click OK. And there we go, that looks pretty nice. Now we want to go ahead to filter again, stylize oil paint. And this window should pop up. Set everything to 10. And um, you can actually probably uncheck, no, no. You want to bring shine down to zero. And then everything else should be good and just go ahead and click OK. Now if you're if it was once blurry, it should kind of work out those blurs and kind of have a better look to it now. Um, but now we want to do the cool part and this on its own is pretty interesting. You could definitely work with this to create something. But I went to filter, distort, polar coordinates and um, you could actually do rectangular to uh, to polar and mess around with that to get something pretty inter interesting but polar to rectangular instantly creates something that is pretty pretty cool so if you do that click OK boom you can see we get something like this and you can bring this down um, you can flip it vertical do something like that that's basically what I had originally um, which looks pretty cool with this like Rasta co uh, color scheme Hit enter and boom, look at that. Pretty, pretty cool looking. And it's very simple to do. Just grab an image and you could play around with it and get something like this. And you can see there's some depth to it. So like this bit looks like it's in front of all the other bits. And then like obviously the doll um, bits in the background are further back. So when you add text like I did, um, let me just pull this up. You can actually pen tool and add clipping masks. So the um, little things uh, go over the text and just get, add some depth and it makes it look pretty cool. But yeah, guys, that's essentially the tutorial. That's all you really need to do. I'm sure you guys can think of more stuff to add to this to create a full picture and get a, like, a final piece that looks magnificent. So if you guys do that, be sure to tweet them at me at Quezzy. Um, but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, drop a like on the video down below. Be sure to check out my Patreon page where you can get stuff early and get all the stuff I use. Um, you get things like my Insane Pack, which you can use for this um, with the fractals. Uh, but anyways, guys, follow me on Twitter at Quezzy. Subscribe for more tutorials, and I will see you next time.
Peace.